I'ma take mama to the Marriott and got him. Took me so long to get it, gonna spell it out. Let him know all about me when I'm dead and gone. One in the hand, one in the bag, brother. One in the hand, one in the bag, brother. Look at the cash, look at the cash, brother. Look at the cash, bubbly. One in the hand, one in the hand. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Carolina Panthers. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Set to return now, here's Deontay Thompson. Another hurdle! This one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Over, over, over. A play fake. Now Moon. Finding Gabriel complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. First down, it's Moon. And caught by Henry. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. To throw on second down, Moon. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Chance looks good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. To throw, Moon, throw left side, complete. That's Thompson. First time these two have hooked up. Call here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback. 
that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Now a first down throw, Moon. A quick hitter complete. It's Henry. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Four catches now on this drive alone. They can't stop him. It's another first down. The Jags with their first opportunity in the red zone. First and 10 right at the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make it second down. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. Second down, here's Moon. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Watching that body, body. Edo Smith, his first carry, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. That opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. is Saquon Barkley. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now second and seven from the 23. Starting left here. On second down, here's Barkley. And some space here. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. A tremendous play there from Saquon Barkley. 43 yards on the ground. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. We got three, we got three. Value three, value three. Here's the first carry for Bo Scarborough. And a short gain down to about the 33. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. Defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Here's a give to Barkley, and they see right through that defensively. 
as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. He lost four there, and it's third down. So add that tackle for a loss to the two that he had a week ago. And you know what he's doing right now? And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Justin Houston in there to get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. What? My 20. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. He'll rifle this one deep right side, and that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of the team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Now a handoff here to his running back. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be third down. It's Moon. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second-guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Tell him. 76. 76. Deuce, deuce. Cut. On second down, here's Goff. Looking left side, he's got it complete. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player. When they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. A first down carry for Smith. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. On third down, Moon. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. 
Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the good defensive position, able to affect the play. So two missed field goals for him now, and that's helped keep them with a big zero on the scoreboard. Well, it's not the only reason they have a zero. The offense has been bogged down a few times now, but it's certainly not helping the cause any at all. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start out on the ground, and Saquon Barkley. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Credit the tackle there to Aaron Lynch. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. A handoff to Barkley. And he'll get this up to about the 40. A minute 59 to go in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Look at the spin. Balance. And nothing but daylight ahead. A tremendous play there from Saquon Barkley. Give him 42 yards on the ground. So he rips off a great run and shows you why this year he's top 10 in rushing in the league. And looks like he's trying to move up fast on the leaderboard, doesn't he? Top 10, looks like he's running to get into the top five. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. A first down carry for Barkley. Here to the eight-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now Saquon Barkley. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. First down now, but that clock rolling. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his fourth touchdown on the year. And his guys are able to strike for six. down the middle and that makes the score seven nothing out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback and now out come the Jags and what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second God, half. God. Managing God, God. risk, this is a big decision here. On first and 10, Moon flushed out right. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. Looking to throw on second down. Moon escaping the pressure right. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. 
The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The safety boot of Baker there to force the incompletion. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Yeah, this is taken at the 23. Now a hit and a loose football. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Good, 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 good. On first down, Moon. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hatch. And McManus able to put it through. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll run it again with Barkley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. to the 29-yard line brought down there. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Well, they've done a good job on these receivers. Pretty much held them in check. They're a little too close for comfort. And you're always looking for a play to get you going, right? You're looking for someone to make one. But maybe this penalty, this pass interference call, that can help shake them loose. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Again, it's Barkley. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple. Down inside the 35 to the 34. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. The Panthers on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. 
And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. the run it's Barkley room to run again and he'll take this into the end zone touchdown Carolina Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year and the Panthers add on to their lead the extra point splits the uprights and that pushes the lead up to 11. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's Thompson to return it. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 6 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. The pitch goes to Smith. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. to throw on second down. Moon. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. So with a big gainer anyways, he'll go ahead and take that instead of the pass interference call. They didn't need the penalty. It would have been different, right, if they had somehow lost some yardage somewhere, but they did not. Gained all they could, down to the spot of the foul. Nothing to be gained by taking the penalty. On first and ten, Moon. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. Through an opening, and there he goes. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. Dula. Maverick, Maverick. After the interception, here's Gall. Looking left side, and it's complete. Touchdown, Carolina! In for the score. And thanks to the interception, the Panthers' offense cashes in with six. 
I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Now a hit and a loose football. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, <laughs> and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First down, it's gone. He's going to air one out. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Damian Radley, his first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. We see this route all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. And it feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football. And that's exactly what happened there. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Thompson on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters right, now, is part like two, right? Like because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now he'll escape to his left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Derek Barnett in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. On the counter, it's Smith. They find some open field here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They stay on the ground this time, it's Williams. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And that goes for a gain of 31. They'll go option to the short side. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. But one of the things you like about a zone read play that has an option component to it is that it gives you plenty of different ways to go. On this one, though, I'm not sure they chose the right one. Maybe they should have pitched it out on this one because that play was absolutely swallowed up. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. And McManus able to put it through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. 
Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. And it looks like the Panthers' hands team does its job. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give him 30 yards there. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era when we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Here's Gaw, eluding the pressure right. And he finds a man on the crossing route. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the 10. A gain of six there on first. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front that buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Panthers add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars getting set to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Detroit! Detroit! Oh, yeah, and here we go again. Here we go again. Cut! Looking to throw on second down. Moon. Looking deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. A big third down play there for the Jags. 45 yards. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. Leopard! Leopard! They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Bud Dupree, a former first-round pick, in on the stop. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Moon. That is caught at the seven. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. 
Only a yard oh, that time, this, second and goal. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. 